drums are very important to the culture of Ghana. And today, I bring you to Art Center, where drums are being made. Today, I will take you through the process of drum making. Join me. Drums are an essential part of African tradition. In Ghana, drums are used at local ceremonies, religious events and concerts. Today, I have here with me uh, Edo, who is going to teach us um, how to do um, jimbe drum. And today, he is going to take us through the process of how to make jimbe drum. This is the, this is the wood. We've got a wood from a village called Kwasi. According to this craftsman, no African drum is made by one man. So this is the first process that we go through. They say the process is divided into stages and each stage is handled by different artisans. Here at the art center in Accra, Ghana, these craftsmen start making their drums using wooden trunks that have been carved into barrels already in the forest. The first thing they do is to sandpaper the drunk. Next is to treat the wood with chemical. This is the chemical. We dye it. It is then left to dry. After the drying, we use shoe polish. Use shoe polish to polish it. This is a shoe polish. We polish it like this. So you see, the way we normally used to polish our shoes when going to church is the same way that the drum must also be. You see, you have to treat it with care. Okay. So after the polish, the these rigs are produced by this welder. Okay, so as you can see me right here, I'm here with um, Mr. Stichy. Um, he is behind all these rings that we are seeing that they used to mold or do the band processing. It is three sets. division of labor in making the drum. There's somebody who is carving, there's somebody who is molding, and there's somebody who is also producing the ring as well. So you can see at its raw state, this is how it is. To prevent the rings from rust, a piece of cloth is tied around it like this. As you measure it, you take the smallest one, as you can see. Mm -hmm. It's the bigger than this one. The, okay. So you take the smallest one, then, so what is the essence of doing this? Okay, when you put this one, it will never rust. Okay, okay. If you never put this one, it will rust the it will rust. So that okay, all right. Next is the weaving of the drum. This is how we weave it. We have single weaving. Mm -hmm. We have double weaving. Okay. And this single weaving that I'm weaving. All right. After the weaving is done, next is to fix the animal skin. This is the ghost skin. Mm -hmm. You see where the, the hair is? You mm -hmm. have to pull the ring. Okay. And you pull it. Mm -hmm. Like this. The animal skin is soaked to become soft. Unlike this dry one used for demonstration. Round. Tight it. Small, 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 small. Round. The ring can also be fixed this way, depending on the type of drum you are making.
This particular one has pegs. These are the pegs at its raw state. Ah, so now he is carving it. These are the, uh, the pegs that we use to tune in the drums. Okay, as you can see, I know many of us may not know what the peg means. And you see this beautiful um, Banlogo drum mate. This is the pegging that I was talking about. And this is used to tune in the drum to sound very sweet. To ensure that these pegs fit properly, this man has to carve nice holes on the wood like this. With the pegs perfectly in place, the weaving for this drum can commence. After the weaving is done, next is to stretch the leather. After stretching it, then you cut it. Once the cutting is done, the drum is put in the sun to dry. Wow, wow, interesting. So this is how they do the djembe drums. And it's very, 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 very nice. As you can see, they've crafted it and they've designed it with symbols of um, different kinds. As you can see, Jinyami, yeah. These designs are also done by a different set of craftsmen. This is a, a pan logo drum. And as you can see, he's giving us a nice design on the drum. This one sounds different, this one also sounds different. So what's the difference between the two? And what's inspired you to do this one big and this one small? Okay, the big one has a sound better than the smallest one. Mm. And the smallest one for keys. Keys? Yeah, for keys. Okay. And the bigger ones for, as I said, for churches and any official kind. Okay, so as he's saying, you can see that it is not only adults that play gym, uh, jimbe drums, as well as kids, if you have a kid home and he wants to play drum, you can get him one of this. Okay, so for how many years have you been in this um, drum business? Uh, like 17 years now. 17 years. And are they patronizing it? Are people buying it? Yeah, they are buying it. So how much does it cost to get one of these drums? The smaller one, what is the, what is the uh, price of um, this? The price of the smallest one is 50 CDs. 50 CDs, okay. And what is the price of this? The price of this one, the bigger one, is 350. Okay, Mr. Edo, thank you for taking us through um, this band making process. And I, I, I will be happy if you play for my viewers too.
Welcome Ghana, welcome Ghana. This is my homeland. Welcome Ghana. Imagine everybody to come to Ghana. Ghana. I love my country. We have a lot of things. Thank you so much and God bless you. All right, all right. So that is the end of this show, Visit Ghana. As you can see, there are more for us to show to you. Stay glued to your seats and don't go anywhere.